Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guide here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. We have another weapon guide for you today and uh, we're going to be going for the Legendary Assault Rifle, the Shreddifier. So uh, this is a Vladoff spinny gun and it's absolutely awesome. So of course at the start, how do you get the Vladoff Shreddifier. Well, you have to get it from the grinder, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't have a designated boss drop on it. So uh, make sure you go to the grinder with two legendary uh, weapons and either a, uh, well, actually, there's a couple of ways of doing it, really. You can either get it randomly from three legendary weapons altogether, which is what I'm doing here, or if you want a specific assault rifle, you uh, have to get two legendary weapons and then a purple rarity assault rifle. That will get you the chance of a legendary assault rifle. So, uh, of course, <coughs> or it can be any two legendary weapons, but it has to be a purple assault rifle to ensure you get an assault rifle uh, legendary from the grinder and uh, it's not always guaranteed to be the one you want so you might have to do this a couple of times uh, but we've got the shreddy fire anyway so uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a little overview of it so this is the legendary shreddy fire then like I've said already manufactured by Vladoff it's a legendary assault rifle uh, and it's a returning assault rifle from Borderlands 2 which you could of course get from Hyperius in Washburn refinery the red text says speed kills and the special weapon effects are greatly decreased spool time, extremely high firing speed and very large capacity but slightly reduced damage which is understandable as it's so fast firing. Uh, it comes in a variety of prefixes including the ferocious which is more damage, expansive is increased mag size, swift is increased bullet speed, the resolute shredder fire is more stable, the rabid shredder fire is faster fire rate. The severe is increased accuracy and the skewering shreddifier has a blade on it which makes it melee. Uh, well, better for melee anyway. So according to the usage and description, the shreddifier is an improvement on normal Vladoff spinny guns as it already starts at a high fire rate and speeds up from there. Rather than starting from a low fire rate, the shreddifier also has a much higher magazine size around 90 to 100 on certain variants. With the very high fire rate, Shreddifier not only consumes ammo very fast, but it also tends to be heavily inaccurate, especially at range or when shooting at small or fast moving targets. This restricts the Shreddifier's most useful range to be around the same as most shotguns. Aiming down the side does not always help reduce the extreme speed of bu spread of bullets and making, ef making effective use of the Shreddifier requires the user aim down the sights considerably. So, uh, also the Shred the fire has a different skin on it as well from um, the one in Borderlands 2. It's got a purple skin. It's not too different, but it looks definitely different from the Borderlands 2 one as well. Um, the flavor text shares its name with the Borderlands Speed Kills achievement from the add-on, the secret army of General Knox. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So let's compare that to another legendary assault rifle, which I've chosen, uh, which is the Fusillade. This is obviously a uh, legendary assault rifle from the Claptastic Voyage DLC. I've chosen them both in the severe um, prefix and they're both cryo as well. But as you can see, compared to the Fusillade, the uh, Shred Defier absolutely kills it on everything apart from magazine size. Uh, the Fusillade has a really high magazine size, but the damage from the Shred Defier is much more, which is also quite good to say that it has reduced damage on it anyway. Uh, accuracy is a lot less, the fire rate is a lot more, it's nearly double, um, the reload speed is greater, again nearly double pretty much, and uh, like I've already said, the magazine size is a lot less. So compared to that legendary assault rifle, the uh, Shreddy Fire absolutely chances it. It's obviously not the best um, assault rifle for damage or anything like that in its class, but uh, I chose this one. Uh, just because it's a bit different, just like the Shreddy Fire really, you know, other assault rifles just fire normal bullets, things like that. These two tend to be a bit different in the way that the fire, obviously the Shreddy Fire is a spinny gun. Uh, the Fusillade just fire weirdly in my opinion anyway. Uh, but like you can see, compared to that Fusillade, it uh, it's pretty much comes out on top. So, what are my thoughts and opinions on this sniper rifle, uh, sorry, on this assault rifle in conclusion? 
Well, I will tell you while we go ahead and kill some enemies and uh, quite a few bosses as well. We'll uh, get a good test out on this one. So, uh, all in all, I go to the Lunar Launching Station here, um, kill a few enemies and then to... Uh, Obviously the Lost Legion power suit new. Uh, then I head to Outlands Canyon to kill Drongo Bones and eventually end up in the Hyperion Hub of Heroism and we go against Meg. And uh, as you'll see, that it just wrecks all three of them. Now I am using a Cryo Tombstone built, heavy built knee shirt here. So obviously my kill skills will be up quite a lot. But uh, yeah, I, this is a definitely a recommendation character to use with this weapon more than anyone. So uh, all in all, the Shreddy Fire, I say, is a really, really good weapon, especially an assault rifle. I do not use assault rifles very much at all, uh, but if I was to use one most, it would probably be this one. It really is very, very quick. Uh, the damage, although it is reduced, it's not that bad to say how many bullets per second you can get out. It says it's not very good at long range, not very accurate, but uh, I'm not within shotgun range really right here. Uh, I am quite close to enemies, but I'm not massively uh, in shotgun range and I can actually do quite well uh, against them. Like I said, it's no sniper rifle or long distance assault rifle for sure. It really is a, uh, a long distance kind of weapon, uh, sorry, a shorter distance kind of weapon. But uh, just the spray and prey aspect to it is unbelievable and uh, that sometimes can help you out. Uh, you know, you don't want to always be aiming down the sights. It's telling you to get the best out of this weapon, you aim down the sights. It's not true, especially if you've got skills where uh, you've got chances to reflect bullets off the floor and things like that. Uh, you, you, you can just spray away and the amount of bullets that goes into an enemy is unreal. Um, so yeah, that makes it really good, especially as well against big bosses like the Bosun or uh, maybe Red Belly, things like that. Um, you know, you can just you don't have to be that accurate, and uh, that is a good thing as well because uh, you can't keep this thing in a straight line, especially when you are aiming down the sights. But uh, yeah, all in all, a really good assault rifle. It comes in all the elements you want as well, so uh, you can get it whatever you want and uh, take out certain enemies. Uh, definitely a good shield stripper if you've got it in the shock class as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, I do like this sniper rifle. Uh, so I keep saying sniper rifle. I do like this assault rifle quite a lot. It really is good, and uh, there's just the spinny gun side of things is. Uh, brilliant also if you want to be a bit more accurate as well there is nothing stopping you from tapping the fire button keeping the spin quite slow on it and uh, just going away and chipping away at enemies so you can go long range if you want to with it but yeah all in all a very good assault rifle and i definitely recommend using it um, especially with a character like nisha who's uh, showdown you can really maximize from it go into showdown in a large wave of enemies and uh, make sure that the spin is at full when you go into showdown then they're just going to get disappeared you know they're just going to get absolutely wrecked especially if you've got your tombstone active as well but even if you haven't once you're in showdown it will not take you long to kill one enemy get that tombstone rolling and just absolutely ripping through any enemy that moves so uh, yeah that is the ultimate vault on the mode legendary weapon guide for the shredder fire assault rifle the legendary assault rifle manufactured by Vladoff. Thanks for watching everyone, let me know your opinions of this weapon down below in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.